to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. I just woke up. I had to lay down for an hour because I'm exhausted. I'm like so into these e-courses I'm writing for you. And then I read these comments and I've got to just do some viewer comments. Comments for you. <laughs> the viewer comments, comments from me. All right. To the lady who told me that she has been cheated on for years, her husband dumps her, goes with another woman, then get, brings her back, then goes back with the other woman and secretly married her, kicked the woman out of the house, and this in Greece, you know who you are, kicked kick the woman out of the house, and with, you know, she lost her, her love, her animals, whatever. What if you, you know, what if you lost all these things, you were got kicked out, you were cheated on, and you lost your love? You lost your love? <laughs> really? Come on! Can we flip this around? So this is what this is what I love on my channel. Do you see how you're looking at that? And I think we've all done this. Oh, we've lost something. How can you lose somebody who is treating you so badly and then you still feel like they've done something to you? Hallelujah! Let's pop the champagne, lady! You are going to go and start living your life now. And you had no money. Well, whose fault is that? Right? So this is where we have to take care of ourselves. And when you look outside yourself for somebody or something to satisfy you, you put yourself in a vulnerable position because you're really not using your own power. And then when you lose the things, you go back outside and say, I don't have money, I don't have a relationship, I don't have my animals, my house. Well, those are all material things. If you had worked on yourself and knew that everything comes within and you could have manifested a beautiful life, you'd have dumped that guy. I'll tell you why. He's not respecting you and you would have started respecting yourself. You'd have got found a way to earn money. Uh, you probably would have left it and said, you know, I'm... You know, I'm going to go find somebody who respects me. So this is the kind of thinking that we don't realize we're doing sometimes that gets us into that, um, let's say, the lower frequency that can continually keep, keeps the loop going, right? You feel like you've lost something. The universe gave you the biggest gift of all. Thank goodness he dumped you and went with that other woman. And by the way, not, not always, but... Chances are, if you were acting that way to somebody, that's probably something you just do. And I'm not, I'm not thinking you should like envy her, right? Bless them. That's their thing. You don't want to wish bad on anybody. And just be so thankful you're out of that. So what's the lesson? Take care of you. Have your life. Have self-respect. Obviously, there's some lack in that area, or else you would never have put up with it. I'm sorry, but somebody can't cheat on you that long without you knowing. All right. Somebody said, what if you have finally gotten it, and, oh, my gosh, you get your act together, and the best of your life is long. You're older, and it's like, oh, my God, the best of my life is gone. You're still not awakened, if you're even saying that. How can the best of your life be gone? You're still alive. Are you serious? Come on, my friend. It doesn't matter what age you are. See, this is, I love being Scandinavian. My family, they do stuff in their 80s and 90s. One of my great aunts, she um, went back to, uh, to high school. She didn't get a high school degree because when she was younger, she had to quit school and work for the family to support the family as a little girl. You know, and that's what they do in Europe uh, in the old days probably in the new days, and um, she uh, went back or got, got her high school degree. She always wanted it in her 80s. Well, everybody's like, yay! Nobody went, oh, lady, you're too old. Why would you do that? Another one became a pretty well-known uh, painter. She wanted to paint. She started painting in her 80s. Um, my grandpa, you know, he used to drive his car and get up on the roof and shovel the snow off in his 80s. W where's this I'm too old that? There we go. That's that earth, earthly you know, collective conscious, uh, we believe the garbage and we keep spewing the garbage back on each other. So you're told certain things and then we spew it to each other as if it's real. We can change that anytime we want. That's not true. You, uh, until, until you're, you know, transitioned and you're in the grave, 
it's never too late. Why? In fact, you're wiser now. And there's so much you have that you didn't have younger. I would never want to go back to even my 30s. Uh, just, you know, a lot of transitioning uh, there spiritually, whatever. And some of those are very difficult journeys. And it's so wonderful to be in this place where I just absolutely uh, so connected to, you know, the higher frequencies. And there's just nothing, no material thing can replace that. And that's where you need to be if you want. See, I said need, but you need to be there if you want to feel that higher frequency of which then all these wonderful things will come to you, right? But we don't need, right? We don't want to say, I need. That's when I say don't use the N-word. So, so forgive me if I used it. I'm using it in a different context. All right. Um, what if you work hard, you give, you're a good person, and you still can't make ends meet? And then I said, well, if you can't, then there's something you're believing. Because if, if, you, if you want to make more money and you're still there, maybe you really don't want to make more money. Maybe you're happy, you know, right? So the response was, well, I, you know, I, I'm, I picked a number and it's 50 million. And, um, okay. Oh, oh, and I've been giving and giving and believing through this giving that I'm going to get something. And I want more, and in turn, I'll give more, which is why I focus on me getting. Ah! Ah! Do you guys, did you hear that? That's so blatant, right? I picked $50 million. Why? Why don't you just pick abundance? Wouldn't you rather have the planet, the, uh, the universe, I should say, the energy, uh, give you exactly what is best for you. If it's $100,000 a year and you live an absolutely stress-free life because you don't have major taxes and the things it takes to make $50 million, which could ruin you. I see more wealthy people that are really unhappy. There's a lot to handle when you're extremely wealthy. Why $50 million? Why don't you just pick a number that is, you know, all the things that I ever want in my life, I gain freely whenever I need it. I never worry about money, right? You don't have to pick a spe specific number. I know that there are other teachers out there that say you do if you feel comfortable doing it. By all means, I'm not here to uh, disagree. But w what I'm finding is that sometimes we're not in a frame of mind to know what's best for us. So we're trying to go after something that's in conflict with our joy. And so the universe is in conflict, you know, in giving us certain things. It's not showing up because we're wanting one thing and then we're asking for something else that actually would not be congruent with that joy or happiness or peace and $50 million wouldn't do it. Nor are we putting the effort in or taking the actions to be the kind of person who gets $50 million. I hear that a lot. I, you know, I'm going to manifest whatever. I see them doing absolutely nothing to change their lives, to get even enough money to pay their bills, much less that crazy amount of money. I would never want that, uh, you know, kind of money that would stress me out. Abundance, I welcome abundance, and if that comes in great amounts of money, but not, not if it's a trade-off. So when you say a number, you're not asking for a lifestyle, and the things that come with this. So I want more. I want more. Bad message to the universe if you're going to, you know, you, you know. And then, um, and in turn, I'll give more, which is why I focus on me getting. So this is the I don't have enough to give now. That's your lack. That's your message right there. And your your giving. The only reason you're giving is because in turn you'll get something. And then you want to focus on you so that you can give. No, 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 but don't believe that for a moment, my friend. Because if you were a giver, you'd be giving on. You say, well, I have been giving, but you're telling me that there's a reason behind. And I did a whole video on this. If you're giving because you want something in return, then your intentions are on a lower frequency. Giving should have no intentions behind it other than to give 
And if you can give without credit, you know, Anthony Robbins, his family used, and they were poor, used to put baskets of food together, deliver them to people that were poor also, and give them the basket, and were not allowed to tell that they were actually the ones donating the basket. So the person would receive it thinking that, you know, they were donated and didn't know that Anthony Robbins himself had actually put it together with his family. That's humility, being humble, right? Not having to take the credit because the ego needs the credit. I'm giving, and what you run in return is the ego say, aren't I great or whatever, or I need and I'm going to get stuff so that, so that I can give because I don't have enough now to give anyways. So if we can switch this around, I, you know, I always say, put the ask and it's given aside, not that that doesn't, that's not valid, but if you're looking at it like, ask and give me, there's no, there's no actually giving and putting out. I say, give, give freely. You have everything to give. It doesn't have to be money, right? And you're giving freely and say, I'm, I'm done. I ask for abundance. Thank you. I know it's done. You envision it. You know what it is you desire. If it's a house or a vacationing and just seeing yourself happy with your family and saying, you know what, I want to give to other people and I'm going to do that now. And then you, like I said, uh, you know, you go trim your out in 100 degree heat, trim your <laughs> neighbor's lawn and cut back his, his Japanese maple. I didn't get any thanks for that. I don't mind. I love the guy. You know what? He came out. I know it made him happy. That's all that counts. All right, so let's switch that thinking. Let's switch that. I'm hearing the words. I lost. I got kicked out. I got cheated on. I lost my love. <laughs> I'm telling you, pop that champagne. Girl, celebrate. The universe open a huge door and you have an opportunity now, but you have to see the opportunity. You have to see the positive in every challenge. And how many years did he cheat for you to figure it out? And finally, he had to get rid of you to say, go get a life. Go get a life. You've got one right now and it's beautiful and perfect and you're strong and you're powerful and there's nothing you can't manifest. Why? You have to know it, believe it, go after it. It's time because you're never too old. The best is never over. It's just starting because there's no end to any. There's no death. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. You'll continue on. This energy and the things that you're accomplishing will carry on with you. And you may look younger and live longer than you ever expected. And who knows? My, uh, my ex-mother-in-law, she got remarried at age 81. Is that awesome or what? And she eloped. Girl. All right, Louise. Yes, did you get the vibrations? It's like a uh, uh, guitar strings, you said. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Your DNA, your frequencies are adjusting. They're raising. I didn't know what it was. I got it for years, too. You haven't had it lately, right? Maybe once in a while it'll show up in a great while. I just had it show up a couple months ago. Not as intense. Your DNA, all that junk DNA, how's that possible? If we evolve, there can't be something there that we don't use. It would only be there because we're requiring it, needing, we, you know, we're expanding. It's already there. So we have things in our body that are, have not been used yet. It's preparing us to use it. This is what's happening. Our DNA, and this is, this is really happening, our DNA is changing. So there is something going on that is adjusting all that. Why? So here's what I had heard. I can't remember where I got this information. I just heard it briefly and went, oh my gosh, it makes so, so much sense. When the earth goes into the fourth dimension, the body that you're in, the dense three-dimensional three, three you know, dimensional body that you're in right now cannot survive in a fourth dimension. It needs to change. It has to be lighter. This is why you guys are experiencing... Um, changed eating habits and all those things. Your body is a dense, you know, vehicle for us. It has to go some through transformations in order to accompany this higher frequency of which you are. Now I know you guys are asking me sometimes, 
hey, you know, what's this fourth dimension or whatever? And if you have to ask, you're probably not going into it. You still have to let go and not question these things. The fourth dimension, no, you're not going to go someplace and you don't know. You're actually shifting in different realities. Like I've mentioned, I have shifted into a different reality just recently, a big one. I mean, it's noticeable. My So many things just completely changed in my life. It was like that. And I realized I had shifted, and I saw some signs of that with things moving, time lapses, stuff like that. So I knew I was doing some shifts, and you may experience that. If you don't, it doesn't mean you're not going into the fourth dimension. But what happens is you'll find the world is different. It's not as violent. It's, you're not focused on it anymore. Um, and you're contributing more. You're wanting to raise your own frequency and work on and then if you're looking at the world as we need to fix this or I hope the world or they need to do that, you're still not focused on you. That's your ego. So that tells you that some work needs to be done. If you find yourself doing that, it's like, wait a minute. I'm still talking like somebody who's judging other people and want, wanting them to be the way you want them to be when that right there needs to be worked on. So let it go and say, bless everybody's on their own journey. Some of it's pretty nasty. We don't have to participate in that. In fact, we have, and there's another world, somebody said we're uh, participating in other dimensions right now. We are. That is, I do believe that myself. Uh, it's not that we switch into just realities. We are actually are in all those realities at the same time. We don't need to go there because, you know, that you can drive yourself crazy trying to figure this stuff out, right? But um, what's happening is as you raise your frequency, your body changes, you'll notice that your... Um, Diet changes. Some of you have had high blood pressure. Mine shot up for a while, and I've always had really low blood pressure. Now it's back to normal again. No reason at all, because I always eat healthy and work out. Uh, but I felt that physically there was some changes going on. Um, that kind of stuff's going on. And then also, um, people will go out of your life. You'll see some people actually dying. And in this reality you're living, they are exiting. And... I don't know what that is. I don't know where they go or how that works. I don't have those answers. And then you will notice that some friends that you don't resonate with their frequency, you're going to want to part with them, wish them well, but you can't be around it anymore. It's just, you, it doesn't even feel good, right? If they can't be happy for you, if uh, you find them critical of you and you're thinking, wait a minute, you know, this is not this is not how I'm feeling. I, when you wish the best for others and it's not being returned, then you know that there's a you know a disconnect somewhere. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to maybe make some changes with relationships, jobs, everything. I want to make point something out. When you guys see this thing come out, it says if it says Landria's inspiration or whatever it says, it says inspiration. That is my email list where my mentoring, my spiritual mentoring is the focus. And that is the LandriaAnka.com site. The LandriaAnka.net site, if you ever see free video trainings, that's for my business where I teach people how to create online businesses and it's a very, it's a business oriented, but it helps people create lives of freedom to get away from the stuff they hate. It's just beautiful. It's not MLM or pyramid scheme. It's just an education training system. It's like going back to school to learn how to create a business online so that you're, especially it's great for moms even, you know, or people that are just sick of, you know, working their tails off. So it's a serious training system. It's not one of these schemey things out there. Um, I learned it. That's why I'm able to do what I do with you and I travel. So just... I just wanted to tell you that because make, make sure you see the difference. So if you go into the funnel where I'm talking about video training and the, my mentors are uh, showing you videos, you went into the business one, all right? Um, so I hope this straightened out a few things. Um, the mind shift, I picked 50 million, I want more, in turn I'll give, mm -mm. and that's why I'm focusing on me, I want. I work hard. I can't make ends meet. There you go. You just spoke it to the universe. You placed your order. I don't even want to say that because I'm abundant beyond my imagination. I'm so abundant that it's even beyond what I would have ordered because I'm going to have so much fun with it. I'm going to do good things. I'm going to I have every I have everything I need. I'm going to 
you know, see where the universe takes me. And it's all good. Those are the words you speak. Yes, 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 yes. And then, then figure it out later. And the universe will supply that too. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.